back to the second episode of the Wet Floor Podcast. I'm Nate Miller, along with my co-host Dylan Hodge to my right and Ethan Kiker and Gable Carrick to my left. Guys, let's start it off Super Bowls last night. What are your thoughts on the game? Ethan? Slow. Slow. Horrible. Slow. Super slow. Yeah. Super slow. I thought it kind of picked up again, like, though. It was like the only game that someone had like zero points. Or like it was like one of the lowest scoring Super Bowls in like half of the NFL history. It was horrible. I'm disappointed to see the Chiefs win uh, back to back. Yeah. yeah, there's a script right there. Yeah, he's following the script. And I, I said on the last episode, you know, I'm not a huge, I don't really have a problem with Taylor Swift, but I was more just rooting for the Niners because I didn't want to see Chiefs go back to back. I like, oh yeah, I just. And I thought, I mean, the Niners were controlling basic. They controlled the game the whole time. The the line of scrimmage was all the 49ers entire. Yeah, because CMC run over everybody, and you take out the Fumbles. the blocked <laughs> PAT, blocked PAT, the fumble, the fumble the and then the muff <laughs> punt. Such a good drive. Oh, my God. The muff putt was real bad. And then I think the Chiefs capitalized with a touchdown on the muff putt. They started yeah. inside the own to 20 yard line. Former Packer. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah I saw the skin. He, he went out with Baker Mayfield. Yeah, that was the flag. One catch. Okay. Good. We had the touchdown. Let's see. Yeah, he had the negative four. The negative four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. backwards. Yeah. I thought that trick play was kind of cool where they. they I don't know how it was thrown as he was kind of. Yeah. That was the most. Was that how it was drawn up? Like. Easiest to read trick play, I feel like, yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and CMC said something. You feel, I feel bad for CMC because he like, he's like, like, he played good. I mean, for no he, interceptions. I, no. He didn't play bad, but he, he wasn't a game changer. No, I, that's what you did. Which is kind of brought her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was like, CMC was like the only person that had like 80 plus receiving and rushing. Mm-hmm. I think Kyle Huchek, too. You see that diamond? Yeah, really nice catch. Yeah. Really good catch. Yeah, yeah we can go that. Um, I do think some positives of the Chiefs winning is there. You know, we don't have to worry about like a Brock Purdy top five quarterback conversation. I th- um, Jordan Love top five. Sit, sit, same <laughs> with Jalen Hurts last year getting beat by the Chiefs. Um, I mean, he put up, what, it was like 38-38 overtime. Yeah. And the 49ers were in the game and the entire time. the Chiefs got bailed out by that pass interference call. Yeah. Remember that? That was cool. Now, do you, oh, are, are the Chiefs It was, like, or the, Juju. It was Juju Smith-Schuster. Oh, the the game. Game. Yeah. Are the Chiefs yeah. definitely a dynasty? Yes. Go. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. And they're not done. They're not falling up anything. I so. think, does this solidify Mahomes as top five all time? I mean, he's got to be up there. Uh, yes. I think so. I think you can even, since, I mean, the only people that are in front of him are Brady, Montana. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, if Rogers is ahead of him. Um, Someone like Jay Cutler, maybe. Rogers is more talented than him. Maybe have Marino up there. Rogers. He didn't even win a Super Bowl. Rod, the only reason Rogers has a Super Bowl is because Jay Cutler got hurt. I think the only people you have definitely have. I'll live by that statement. Rodgers is a more talented quarterback. Well, I think the only people you definitely have in front of Mahomes are Montana, Manny, Brady. Yeah. You're saying Rodgers is more talented than Mahomes? Mahomes? Yes. 100%. You're wrong. Hey, okay. that's okay. terrible. You know, like, there's a saying. I don't, I don't even think Mahomes should have made the Pro Bowl this year. There's a saying that's, uh, what is it? Go woke, go broke. I think Aaron Rodgers actually kind of did the opposite of that. Oh, yeah. He went. He broke. He, he, he just broke <laughs> in general. He's, yeah. His mind's going. In his 2023 season, he balled out for sure. He ran with that American flag out of the field. Oh, yeah. Next play. You know, I mean, no, he, didn't get, he didn't get a single yard pass. I, I, for, for the Broncos, I don't like when players get hurt. You know, it, it sucks. If there's just, one player just, that I really, really like, like right right out in the field, if there's one bad. player that I really like getting hurt, it's Aaron Rodgers going down. I hope he goes down first play next year. I hope he does. And Gabe and Ethan aren't going to say it, but I know they agree with me, too. Mm-hmm. Dylan over here. Isn't stupid. I hate it. I hate it. It's that turf, man. The New York. Well, they're getting grass in for the uh, the World Cup. Are they? Sure, yeah. The oh. World Cup must makes people play on grass. That life's dangerous. I'd be sick to go to a World Cup game. That would be dumb. There's a couple in Kansas City. No, don't you? I, I actually do like Jordan Love. I think he's a yeah, baller. Uh, he's, he's more he's, humble than Aaron. He's, he's quiet. You know, just wait. He just wait. He's going to He's he'll break soon or not. I don't think or so. Like, or or he'd be like Brett Favre just be a criminal. So, yeah. I just saw that he's paying still back. $700,000 or yeah, you, you want to be crazy like Aaron Rodgers or steal from welfare? Yeah. Uh, Does anybody do like Patrick Mahomes Sr. with that game? Yeah, he was. He was. He was. He was. He was. Yeah. I, I'm so surprised they bailed There's him out. There's no way. It was, he's it's on insane. third. I, I said it's Mahomes' third championship, his dad's third DUI. So it's basically the same thing. We're talking about current news here. This is, uh, this is all on the table. Brittany Mahomes not letting uh, Jackson into the. Yeah? That was really crazy. What concert was that? Was that. Um, it was like the day before the game, Saturday night. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine how insufferable that would be? 
was between the two of them. That's a brutal family. Uh, um, yeah, the Britneys actually kind of calmed out, in my opinion. Yeah, um, but, but not as bad as she was. The Netflix series. Oh my god! No, 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 a lot of it is she's just kind of like really supportive. She just not wants attention. No, she, she just wants. Oh, I, I'm the opposite. Oh, I think she's just more supportive. Jackson, on the other hand, he just wants the attention. I haven't seen. And also, he's Why? also actually a criminal. Oh, um, oh he, like, he assaulted someone. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So, you know, the Mahomes, fact, he's just runs in the blood. I think it's impressive how he's been able to block out all the pressure around him, and he lets the game do the talk. Unless he's a criminal as well. Maybe who, knows? Who, knows? who knows? Who knows? Maybe he'll turn out like those Packers quarterbacks. <laughs> Anyways, so NFL honors. Lamar took home the MVP. Oh, you guys think that was right? Oh, yes. Worst. Oh, well, here, we he, here we go. He deserves it, but. This is the worst quarterback statistically to win MVP. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know who else is going to win it, but I. I mean, you could have made a debate for Josh Allen, but beyond that, yeah. Uh, no, running back's not going to win it. And, and CMC so, had a CMC had a great year, but it, it wasn't quite. I like it. Was it quite I like, like, that, like, yeah. I like what, that he got the Hawks I think that was. Yeah. You know, right. yeah. 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 Will Anderson, the yeah. Texans take home offense and defense. Yeah. I thought Puka and Kuk maybe could have got offense. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, he, the, it's such a quarterback heavy award, kind of yeah. like MVP. And both of, both of them played so well this year that you know when they're both things are even, they're gonna give it to the quarterback. You know? I was really impressed though by Puka because I thought he was gonna kind of falter off after he starting off so hot, especially when Cup came back. He was came back, he got better. Fourth round pick out of BYU. He did. Cup really kind of went down. He was struggling. Everyone, like, everyone had like the first two weeks. Good. Like after like Hunter Henry picked him up on fantasy at like fifteen points first week, fifteen points second week. Average like point two points maybe the next eight weeks and Puka just average like twenty every single week is insane. Tight ends are kind of a hard position for fantasy. But Still I'm freaking and of course I had all the good tight ends on my team but I couldn't get it. I had Kyle Pitts, I drafted Kyle Pitts. No, that's, 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 that's a mistake right there. Horrible. I was running twenty two personnel at some point mm-hmm. with Kelsey and Laporta. The Porta was a great yeah. flex option. Yeah, I mean Dropping 20 a game, that's insane. Now, here's a good question. So we saw Joe Flacco and DeMar Hamlin statistically tied for first place, but because Joe Flacco had more first place votes, Joe Flacco won. So what are our thoughts on that? I like that. I think right. Baker should have won. <laughs> I think Baker should have won. Well, if you can take the Browns to uh, the playoffs, you're in the, you're in the running. I mean, they have a good defense. They got yeah, defense really good. good. They had a good run. Well, the the Fanski's really, really, really good year. coach, coach of the year, well deserved there. Yeah, Anthony Schwartz, a defensive uh, or assistant coach of the year, really was great defensive player of the year. Over TJ Watt, TJ Watt, Watt. Watt, it was yeah, I don't know. All the stats, lean. but TJ Watt had it was probably a little bit of voter fatigue. Yeah, because yeah. he won in the past, and he missed a couple games. You know, a lot of those like, old school guys that like like to see guys play. So did Stroud? But the thing about the statistics, I'm eating one way. I mean. Dak had one less statistical than Lamar. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know, but obviously, you look at, I just think when you really break down and watch a game, Lamar does a lot more for the team than Dak does. Dak's got more. you got to you gotta put in how much rushing yards Lamar has. So, I don't know if I'm I'm not saying that. I think he deserved it. But I think Ethan's right, it was kind of a week here for just yeah. the conversation around the MVP in general. How many? I think it was about 3,500 maybe. Yeah, it wasn't four thousand, but no. so we've had the NFL honors. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. So next up, Chicago Bears are on the clock. So the <laughs> everyone to the left of me, including myself, is a Bears fan. So I'm gonna start with Dylan as a Packers fan. What do you think the Bears should do with Kendall Lofton? I I don't think they should get Caleb Williams. I mean, Packers fan, you say that or as a not unbiased, like unbiased, like, you as a Bears, if I the Bears rivals. Fan. I don't believe they should get get Williams. Okay. I think I don't think they'd be bad if they got him. Like I don't really like. It's like so. A, what do you do? With it's like a what do you do? With seven, the first pick it's like a sixty five percent like they shouldn't get him. But like, so what do you do with the first pick then? Do you trade back or do you take Marvin Harrison? Do that. I mean, you got Mooney didn't do anything this year. No, no. receiver first no. overall. That's no. not yeah. yeah. And a lot of people are going to want that. Because if you can turn out to three with the Patriots and get, like, everything yeah. from them. I don't know if the Patriots would do that, you know. Kraft. I mean, Kraft is kind of getting a restless, though. He has a Jared Mayo. Yeah. They are It depends awesome. how much control the yeah. uh, Jared Mayo has. As I think show. he might just kind of be a bridge coach, and they kind of get rid of him after a couple of years. 
He's I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He, he's yeah. He's a pa- he's a Patriots guy. That's true. He's, he's young. It was in his contract. He I do like the hire though. I like the hire. Yeah, I think he's gonna be real good. Fits the culture. I'm just gonna keep it, but be a little bit looser than Bill is, you know. Personally, I, I think the Bears. I think they have to go Caleb Williams. I, I think if you don't take him, I think, and not even my opinion. I think the Bears just are going to take him. I think they are. One hundred percent. I just don't think they can. I don't think he can pass on him. And I really like Fields. I think in any other situation, do you think they're going to trade Fields? Yeah, yeah, I think in any other situation in the league, Fields is going to stay. If we didn't have the first overall pick, we wouldn't even be talking about it. Fields would be back for another year, kind of like how last year was. And I do think he's kind of gotten a, a bad draw. How do you think that Caleb Williams going to handle? Him? Bear society. I think it actually gets a little too much hate from the media. I really don't think it's as bad as people make it seem. It, stay off Twitter, and you can handle. Stay off every social. And media honestly, media like Twitter. if you play good, if you, you really, don't gotta worry I mean, about it. If he throws for four thousand passing yards for other, Dak Prescott does it every other year. If all he needs to do is pass for four thousand yards, we'd be happy. For the benefit of Fields' uh, side. He has played in what three different offenses? Yeah, that's why I'm saying yeah. I'm kind of out of that draw. And he, he keeps excelling. He keeps going to that next level every year. So I'm a field. I say they should keep Fields, trade back to at least that's at it. least two, and go get Marvin or three and get Marvin. You know, it's there's quarterback, Shefty and all those guys and rap or they think quarterbacks are going one, two, three this year. For some reason I just don't see Marvin Harrison Jr. Ah. for this reason. I see. Like it just doesn't look right. No, it doesn't look right. It doesn't right. see Caleb Williams in a Bears jersey so many times. I think he's, he's I mean, natural. Caleb Williams and Drake May obviously are going to be top five no matter what, but beyond that, I actually think it's pretty weak. I think okay. yeah, Jane Daniels. I think Jane, Jane Daniels. There's, 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 there's Penix, yeah. and then there's McCarthy. And oh, I think uh, McCarthy's uh, awful. Yeah, and yeah. then Penix is one of those, it's like, you know, how do you meet him when he's like 87 years old? Like, they're all oh, like, no. I mean, they're not. As old, they're what, 23, 24? 20, yeah, which they, they gives you an upside of their more experience, but then where's the ceiling go to? Right. And when I was, I, I kind of moved over from, I was kind of with the Fields, keep them, but now I'm kind of on the Williams. But I think if you do keep Fields, maybe you then go grab a guy like Bo Nix in the third or yes. fourth round. I think maybe sure. you do that. I don't know. And it, the other stuff is like, Fields, if he could have just, that last game against the Packers, I mean, if he could get Brown, I think win. The like, Brown, I mean, the defense played outstanding that game, and he did nothing to. It, it, the stat sheet was, was kind of, you know, a little. If you watch the game, you would have thought he played better than the stat sheet showed. Right, but still, it's. Um, he's not a proven passer for this year, and he didn't run this year either. No, and that's and that's more of kind of the, the offense, though. I feel like. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. And I was. The league must not have been too down on Gatsy because he got scooped right up by the Raiders. The Raiders, yeah. So. I don't know that, and obviously Field is even going to go there. Well, Davis hasn't hired the best coaches. At no, the no, no, no. So, and he he also hasn't been making the right decisions. That was, this was his first year of making the right decision at head coach. Yeah, yeah. and I, I I didn't like that too, but and I don't know where Field. I I could see Fields with the Patriots. I could see him going out to Atlanta too. Yeah, I've so, seen yeah. Uh, him go to the Steelers too. I saw yeah, report today because I don't like Kenny Pickett, and no. I'm not sure how much they trust him either. Yeah. Waste of a first round pick. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think you could maybe get a first rounder out of Fields. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe late, late first, early second. Or maybe it's. I saw a mock draft today where it had the Bears taking K Williams at one and then trading to three with the Patriots where we got three and they got our nine in the Fields. We took Marvin Harrison. I couldn't be mad about that. If you get Marvin Harrison, they got it. They gotta trade up a lot to do that, though. But if they're looking for Jaden Daniels, they probably get him at nine. So. Can you can yeah. get him, bro? Yeah. Well, no, they, they have, if, if they want to feel it that bad, they just feel it that But I, I think Washington's going to want to move heaven, oh, yeah, yeah. heaven and earth to go up and get him because they just hired Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury. And he's a DC guy, Caleb Williams. Yes. Yeah. And, and he would, Kingsbury was his quarterback coach, so. Yeah, that's that's his main guy he was talking from, to at from USC. Oklahoma to USC, too. Yeah. No, 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 no. He, he was he was he was in the NFL. Oh, he, he was, was at Arizona. 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 Yeah, but yeah. you're thinking, I kind of think of Lincoln Riley. They're, they they run a really yeah, small. Yeah, they're right. the same thing. Yeah, same person. Basically. I would actually like to go to Caleb Williams' Twitter because he was you're saying a lot of stuff about, about the Bears. I don't think he wants to play for the Bears. If he doesn't want to, I don't reposted know. Devin Hester was him. Reposted Jaquan Brisker. Reposted the Bears Devin Hester post. It's a lot of Bears stuff. It's 
and you go to his likes, it's like all bear stuff. So because I mean, he was made out to not want to go to the bear, so now I think he's got to rewrite that narrative. I don't. He he liked. There's someone saying that like a harsh criticism that he liked bears talk. Yeah, I don't know. And maybe he's just trying to say like he's go wherever he wants. Yeah, I think maybe he. Yeah, I I, I think he'd be fine. And every player should be fine with the Bears, even though we haven't had that much of a quarterback success. In my opinion, Dylan, <laughs> it's like we're one of the best sports cities in the country. Defense is coming up, man. Uh, we're historic. I mean, I don't know, dude. Dylan's laughing at me, but I, I, just, I think the too. Bears could be a good team. Like, I'm not, I'm not even I do, too, but I, I don't know. I guess maybe I can see why. It's where quarterbacks go to die, I guess. But yes. Historically. But maybe you want to do for a playoff but maybe you want the statue outside, you know? Maybe you want to build the legs. That's true. <laughs> He's got an opportunity. That's true. What do you think the Packers are doing this year, though? We'll pick the Jets when we put them. I got to kick it. Wait first, okay. Maybe they wait first, that's for sure. Get Jordan Love on the receiver, maybe? Their yeah. receiver? Not all the receivers they need. What's his name? Yeah. Was pretty good. Uh, Dante Reed. 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 Reed was pretty good. This Christian Watson went healthy. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Romeo Dabbs, Bob yeah. Johnson. Yeah. You're tight, you're tight. You got two decent tight ends. Yeah. Aaron Jones at the end of the season, he really oh, turned it on. That offensive line was brutal. You know what I mean? mean? David Bakhtiari. You're so in the corner. Much I don't know why. He's injured every season. He's a giant. Jair's injured at the end. He's injured. He said, yeah. He said, did you see his Instagram post? He was gone. No way he's coming back. Jair's out. He's pissed at the, what's he called? The tech. I will say I would really like LaFleur. I think if LaFleur would have been with Rodgers, that they maybe could have gotten one or two more. Because I don't, I think Mike McCarthy is pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty. Yeah. I don't Can't know. succeed in the playoffs. No, 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 yeah. And I mean, and Rodgers, he was like the offensive coordinator this year for the. He was the head coach too. Oh. Yeah, he called plays. Yeah, he called okay. plays. Yeah, yeah. And, and Rodgers did a lot of the joking himself, but I mean, those are good teams he had. Yeah, Bob. Never had much of a defense. That's no. Which is weird because that's where they drafted all those first round picks yeah. for so long. Yeah. Or they just take random wide receivers. No, they're yeah. really good at drafting. For a time period, they would just draft random DBs. They would all turn out. Yeah. Like Josh Jackson from Iowa. Ha ha Clinton Dix. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, was he, he was Jordy Nelson used to, he used oh, to be a dog. Uh, he used to be a dog. So looking into next and season, oh, big boy. Yeah. Big boy. I think yeah. him as a Seahawk. I don't know his 40 year old Look at Eddie Lacy's 40 year old. Well, like in his prime, was probably pretty good. I'm saying like a. He was like 4 8 5. No, I was fashion that. He didn't get fat for a while. He was skinny coming up. He's like a 4 5. I'm thinking 4 6 5. 4 6 4. Four six four. Wow. What did I say? 4 6 5? That's actually. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's insane. I, I already looked it up. Um, so what do you guys think next year? Who are the Super Bowl favorites going? Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, I gotta say, Chiefs are going to be up there every year. Chiefs, I'm, Green Bay. No. <laughs> I like a healthy Joe Burrow to go deep. Yeah. yeah. I think if the Texans play the offseason right, they can make a push. They're, They're a fun Texans. team. I really like them. Uh, Bill, I, I mean, Bill is... I think they can be right back Lions, out there. Yeah. I don't think it's a one season. And then, obviously, you have the Niners, who... I think they have a lot of people going to free agency though. No, they got they got everyone back. They do. Daniel Sample was that sounded so negative after the season. Yeah, that's so cool. cool. he did. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's like this is our best shot at getting the Super Bowl. I mean, they really showed that game away. But I yeah, mean, I mean, he is right though. Do you guys think it, it is? It's it's hard to get back. Yeah. And everyone's coming for you now. You're not just that lovable team that lost all the time in Detroit. You got. You're going to get everyone the team's best shot. Well, and I just said that Pearl could maybe get back, but I could also see him never getting back. Wow. That's, I, I could see him getting back, but not to, like, the prime. Like, I think that he could get back and be, like, an average quarterback. No, no, no. I just mean, like, the Super Bowl job. I don't mean, like, I think he'll be a quarterback for a long time, but I don't know. Yeah. Because that was, what, his, basically his first full healthy year? Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was a kind of I mean, a, that was a nice Super Bowl. It was like a nice break from that was the, the Chiefs. Rock. It, it was, was like Rams, Rams Bengals. Like, yeah. That was kind of cool. It was so random. Oh, what are you guys think about the Super Bowl commercials? Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Half time show. Did you guys see a Doritos so commercial? So many Timo ads, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see a Doritos commercial? No, I saw a Timo ad though. It was like, it, 
because Timu sponsored the Super Bowl. It look, people were saying insane. that. That's it's, insane. Insane. Timu adds looked like it was bought off Timu. It, it's actually pronounced Timu. Okay. Is it actually? Do you hear that? They kept saying Timu. I've always said Timu. Yeah, I don't care enough. Did you drop? Do you drop shit? No. No, I've been seeing people that making hundreds of thousands of dollars. E-commerce. Yeah. Yeah. My my guy Drake Drake Crittenden is actually into that. He's yeah. Oh, he's big. Yeah, no, he's big. he's big into it. Yeah, he's actually doing pretty good right now. He resells really stuff too. Yeah, yeah, shout out to him. I don't know where he's at. Um, I'm trying to think of some other topics. I mean, we got about five more minutes left on the pod for the day. Um, Two Grammys. Ooh. I didn't watch Travis it at all. Scott. I didn't care. Well, well, I did. Wait, do we? Do we? Dylan got some, some strong opinions. opinions. No, we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't. Dylan has some strong opinions. Yep. Yeah. Killer Mike. Um, uh, absolutely and, and scientists and engineers. engineers. And what Travis drops an album every like six years, so yeah, you took years. We're gonna have to wait a while before. Uh, and uh, they had him, they had him like perform to after at the Grammys. He looked mad. Oh yeah, he's pissed. You were an actual world guy or a YouTube guy? I ain't got an actual yeah. world guy for sure. I can't believe you didn't win that year though. Who won that year? I think Drake Cardi won that year. No Cardi B won that year. Yeah. yeah. Haven't heard anything about her in a long time. Legitimately, I didn't know who Killer Mike was. No, no, never heard of him. Well, I listened to a song too, and really like so, yeah. they didn't know it was horrible. Well, that wasn't it was like awful. kind of slow. It was like fast paced. Like to win a, that to win a Grammy, it was fast paced. No, but he didn't Grammy. deserve it. No, but like uh, Kanye West drops. Vultures. I like that. I like it. Elsie Ice Spice in the box last night. With Taylor Swift. How didn't you? I guess that was just kind of odd. It was. I, I, went I was Twitter. so confused at first. I was like, some people were saying she was throwing up like demonic signs. She did. Oh, she had a. Upside down, upside down cross. So some moves. I, I was there's a lot of conspiracy theories from last night, like the game being sold, uh, script. Some of that the uh, satanic stuff is insane. I mean, yeah, you see the stories and it's just like, what is that? But then you look deeper into it. It's it's, it's weird. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about these lights. You guys can hear us. You know, they're gotta be loud. But I think I think they're worth it. They're looking good in the box. Yeah, they, I, I don't know if the sounds looking good. I like, I like to say. So I'm excited to see where the show goes. I think we might be able to up it up to a couple episodes per week, but might stay at one for now. And then as March Madness comes in, Ooh, we'll, Madness. we'll be doing our bracket. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do a bracket. bracket. We'll, we'll break it down. Yeah. But I think we're gonna do the school challenge school again one, that we've yeah. done. And we kind maybe of updated the leaderboards. Maybe so. we'll travel to the gym and uh, watch it. Oh, oh, that'd be cool. I've been saying I think maybe we could get on the jumbotron. Um, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, we'll have to see. So I think that's gonna conclude today's episode of the Wet Floor Podcast. Thanks for joining and listening. Co-host, anything else to say? See you in the next one. Thanks, Don. See you guys.